Holy Name Hospital was considered the epicenter of the pandemic in New Jersey. The Bergen County facility had hundreds of patients. Now it's down to just a few. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports on how things are switching back at the hospital to allow elective surgeries to resume. During the worst of it, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck had about 250 COVID-19 patients. Four staff members even died from it. A moment of silence, a moment of grief, and then everybody had to return back to where they were because there was no time to stop and think. Michelle Aceto is the director of nursing operations. She says the hospital was so inundated, it added more than 100 beds and constructed five more ICUs. Today? Today we're down to nine patients. And new COVID patient admissions are down to about one to two per week. Where at the height of the pandemic, we were having one or two every 15 to 20 minutes. As you can hear, it's relatively quiet out here. They say that is another noticeable difference. We heard the ambulances coming. At the height of things, there were overhead announcements, almost constant emergency response. The worst of the crisis behind them, the hospital is now set to resume elective surgeries orthopedic cases, we're going to see general surgery, you know, uh, some gallbladder surgeries, things of that nature until we ramp up to full speed. Patients will be tested for COVID-19 72 hours before the surgery and the no visitor policy remains in place. The entire institution was cleaned using a five step process that involves UV lights and electrostatic disinfectant sprayers. So what becomes of all the new construction and other equipment used during the pandemic? ICUs in areas like a conference room will remain, and so will the additional 270 negative pressure beds. That keeps contaminated air where a patient is from escaping, filtering it outside through a HEPA filter. In the event that there is a second wave, or if this occurs at another time. So now the goal is to get the message out to those who need surgery. The last thing we want to see is the person who's waiting and waiting and then they've waited so long that their illness is beyond repair or they've become sicker because of it. They say they're more prepared than ever before. In Teaneck, New Jersey, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.